Tennyson the poet said, More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. And this is so true. St. Teresa said, Carmelites strive to be great friends of God. They take advantage of their friendship with Him to win favours from Him for others. Their prayers and sacrifices are for the needs of the church, the world and the individual. She has also said, This is why He has gathered you here together. This is your vocation. This must be the business matters you are to be engaged in. These must be the things you desire, the things you weep about. These must be the objects of your petitions. Their prayers and sacrifices are for the whole human family, but above all, it is for the priests. Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, Desciendra sobre vosotros. Amen. The Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, has said, Indeed, prayer is a service to the Church and to souls. It obtains for the people of God a hidden apostolic fruitfulness. Much like a human heart, which serves to reoxygenate blood for the body, a call to Carmel is a call to take all that wounds the heart of Jesus, reoxygenate them with prayer, sacrifice and fasting, and in this way win God's favours and blessings for the whole church and the world. What do the Carmelites do the whole day long? Life begins at 5.40 in the morning with a shrill sound of the alarm clock. Personal needs are attended to and by the time the Angelus rings at 6, the sisters are all down in the choir before the Blessed Sacrament, ready to let the Lord hear the first spoken words of their day. Lord, open our lips and we shall proclaim your praise. With words such as these, with psalms and hymns, the day begins with morning prayer, in which the sisters consecrate the first stirrings of their mind and will to God. The daily schedule of work begins at 6.30 in the morning, interrupted for Mass at 7, followed by breakfast and an hour of personal prayer and mid-morning prayer. I hope in the Lord, I trust in His Word. From 9 till 5.45 in the afternoon, work is resumed with interruptions for midday prayer, lunch, mid-afternoon prayer, recreation and siesta. Much of the work is done in silence and solitude as a means of nurturing the spirit of prayer so that at all times and in whatever they do, the sisters are with their beloved and he with them. Work is part of human dignity and an honour and a joy. By means of their work, the sisters share in the creative action of God. Besides, when united to Christ in silence and solitude, they continue to lift up humankind in their silent song of love and praise to the Lord. So in whatever they do, the Church, the people of God, suffering humanity, is always being lifted up to the Lord. <laughs> 